Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Ashley versus the Bookish Agenda. Today's video is late, but I still wanted to come by and let you know what I'll be reading in the month of October. This month, my goal is to read predominantly psychological thrillers, thrillers, anything spooky, you know, because at the end of the month, we have Halloween. So if you have any books that fit in that category that you love, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to be able to add more books to my contenders list. So let's get right into it. First up is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hopkins. This tells the story of a woman who every morning she rides a train and she passes by this couple and she thinks they have the perfect life. She starts making up stories for them and one day the wife and the couple goes missing and she becomes a, well, the main suspect. And this has also been a movie. I haven't seen the movie. But I've heard great things about this. This dominated the bestseller list when it came out. And now every psychological thriller since then, I feel like, gets compared to this. So maybe I'll give this a try. Up next is by the same author. And this is Into the Water. From what I gauged going online, this is a story of this town that has a body of water where women end up dead in this bottle in this body of water whether they kill themselves or murdered and this book is told in seven perspectives i don't really know if i'm gonna be able to get through this usually i can only do like two perspectives max but if it's really good and engages me in I may be able to do it. If you've read this book, let me know in the comment section down below how you felt. Up next is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. And this is about, if I'm not mistaken, this is about a woman who um, is a reporter. And she's covering this cruise. And the first day she's there, somebody goes missing. And also by Ruth Ware, I have In a Dark, Dark Woods. This is about a woman who um, used to be friend, like used to have a group of friends. They fell apart. She hasn't spoke to them in a while. And all of a sudden, one day, she gets invited to the bachelor party that's in the woods. And she wakes up and everyone's dead and she doesn't know what happened. The Widow. Fiona Barton. This is about a woman whose husband committed a heinous crime. She has never spoken about it. She's always done what he told her to and kept quiet. Now he's dead and reporters are showing up at her door hoping to finally break her and get the story. She tells it, but is she telling the truth or is she lying? We don't know. I don't have the dust jacket for the last two. I'll hold it this way. This is The Gone Girl. The book that took over the world has a movie to it, which I have not seen. Stars Ben Affleck. This tells the story of a man's um, wife named Amy Dunn who goes missing, and he is the prime suspect. And last but not least, and forgive me for my little, let me take it out. I may, I use anything as a bookmark. It was a piece of paper. But this is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. And this tells the story of a disgraced journalist whose career is kind of rebooted once again when Ashley Cordova, who is the daughter of famed film director Stanley's Cordova, winds up dead. And everyone thinks it's a suicide, but he believes that Stanley's, excuse me, killed his daughter and he sets out to prove it. I love this book. Um, the part that I did get to read, I read like about 100 pages. It's told through multimedia. And I really love, it almost draws you in and you feel like 
you are a part of it. You're investigating this case at the same time as our main character. So, let's see if I can lift all of these up. Oh my gosh, they're probably going to fall. So, this is my October TBR. As I stated before, if you have any books that you think, um, that you like in the psychological thriller genre, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to pick some of them up. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please follow me on all of my social medias, which will be linked in the description down below. And as always, until we meet again, bye.